Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is. Don't worry, I try to jam pack my videos with as much content and as much detail as I possibly can. Anything I feel I can comment on and that I feel you might be interested in, I pretty much put in the video. I try not to repeat myself and talk fairly fast. Replicant movie thoughts. The movie is obviously not great, but I do really appreciate that it's very empathetic about the 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 cloning, you know. The the sixth day openly, honestly, logically and humanely goes into the ethic you know, the, the ethical issues about, you know, raised by you know, the, the technology of cloning, which is a discussion that we need to have since the technology is basically right around the corner. If we do decide to use the technology, which we should not make lightly, it could have great benefits. And in this, it is basically saying that, you know, nurture is, is more important than nature. You know, if you clone a person who's done evil doesn't mean that the clone will do the, you know, do anything evil. And, you know, either the clone doesn't really have a killer instinct or it's just not quite, you know, woken. Like, there, there are times where it looks like he might, but ultimately, you know, he, he sacrifices himself to make sure that Garrett is for sure dead there at the end and he you know he does fight and do you know sometimes defend himself and such but ultimately yeah he's he has plenty of chances if he wanted to hurt some he could have hurt the kid the dog you know the prostitute the you know he could have shot Jake when you know he gave him the gun I I do quite like you know at first we generally it's like Jake has lost his mind the the he he's you know genuinely trying to go to, you know at first it's like oh he's gonna kill the clone because he's like you know if you know he, he just lost the feds so he's gonna kill the clone dump his body and say, ah, I lost him, what could I do? You know, okay, He's he wants to make sure that the clone doesn't go out and kill him. Then he hands the gun to the clone, and not only that, you know, he, he points the, you know, the gun right at his own chest, and it's like, he's, just, yeah, and, and then, you know, you have them pointing the guns, and, and at this point, the moment that they're, you know, pointing guns at the clone, he could just say, I put blanks in the gun, but no, he just like nope. Well, you know, I, I guess if you put down your gun, maybe he will too. And is yeah, and then afterwards, he finally reveals nope. It was just blanks all along. The another review noted that the movie has compassion, tenderness, and the icy, cold-blooded, frozen hard serial killer. I do obviously have to get into the scene with the prostitute. You know, I, I like how it kind of reverts, like, when she's, like, what she shortly thereafter refers to as a freebie, you know, she, she's like, you know, do you, do you like what you see? And it's, it's kind of like, you know, hey, hey, my breasts are down here, you know, and the the it's it's like I guess you can kind of see how she she does end up feeling you know feeling some empathy towards him because he isn't really you know he clearly doesn't completely understand what's going on or you know know how to handle this kind of situation you know the it's his first time. The, the, you know, and, and, you know, by then she has just called the guy, and I love this guy. This guy has, like, 
almost no he's he's got two minutes of screen time in that screen time he has I don't know four lines of dialogue and he's this he's determined to make an impression on you so he can you got a problem you know yeah p ping I'm here to collect you know he's it's the this is the the you know the food is good and just and I'm like what good does it possibly do to smash up the place are is this not gonna cost more money than you know this this one client who doesn't pay or maybe you know it might spread the message that you know this is what happens if you don't pay but you know they're they're throwing him into things you know he throws them into things as well which is you know he's he doesn't necessarily think about them but why don't they care at all about whether or not he's like breaking you know it's, it's like why don't they try to get him outside but yeah and you know in the as the film closes out we see that they are together you know for a happy ending and presumably also to stay together I don't think that it's that big of like a problem that like you know some some of question why does Garrett not you know stop the clone and Jake you know if he's you know he he considers himself superior the the clone for for a while he's just not sure how to deal with and then you know that is kind of he he didn't know he had been cloned he he could tell that there was something off when the clone is like you know when right before they excuse me release him but he doesn't know what that means you know so yeah when he later sees he's he doesn't know what's going on and it is kind of you know that that is something that the film you know who who is your family you know you might who is who is the family of the clone who's the family of Garot and you know Garot because of you know he hates his mother and tries to like yeah you know go after people who are like her and it's you know he he hates her but and and that's you know i mean he almost seems like he's sympathetic towards the children he i mean if he wanted to he could have i mean he didn't know that the cops were right well actually no no wait he lets her call there at the start so he knows that the cops are going to be there and he he actually takes a really big chance there now that when when you think about it he's not necessarily the most cautious but yeah you know so maybe he figures that the the baby will be saved you know because i mean yeah okay the the fire is localized but all that smoke the the child with with its considerably smaller lungs than yeah but you know he he doesn't go out of his way to directly kill the the children so when he sees that he has quote unquote a brother that is quote unquote a son of the mother the bad mother yeah he's it's he doesn't see it as someone that he has to kill particularly he you know he tries to get him to switch sides really and yeah, Jake, I mean, he's in part toying with him. You know, he nobody forced him to make that phone call during the retirement party. You know, and, and you gotta love how, like, you know, at first, you know, Michael Rooker, he's he's staying calmly and just, you know, trying to keep 
anybody else at the party from knowing what's going on. But gradually, you know, Garrett gets him, Garrett gets him, I gotta stop saying Garrett. This isn't Thief. The, the, you know, he, he keeps taunting him and Michael Rooker rooks out. And like, you know, and, and yeah, that's, that's why you hire Michael Rooker. And the, the, yeah, he's, he, he, he also didn't need to try to run him over. And if he really wanted to there, he could have made a bigger attempt to kill him. But, you know, for one thing, he's trying to escape. And he figures that if he tries running him over, you know, even if he doesn't, like, really hurt him greatly, you know, if he just drives next to him, you know, Jake has that much more of a chance to shoot and, yeah, and, and eventually hit him. So, now the... You know, it's it's really on the nose, but I do like the, you know, when the mother, you know, points out, if you treat him like a criminal, he will become a criminal. This came out after Final Destination, so it's possible that this was in part inspired by it, because they're the climax. I get, they don't want, you know, why would, why would Garot be setting fire, you know, and, and causing an explosion there? And Jake doesn't want to do it because he might hurt himself. You know, even if it kills Garrod, he doesn't. He's not looking to kill himself. And and the you know the the clone isn't going to. So yeah, it's it needed to be something else. But still, that is like at least a minor Rube Goldberg machine to cause the the explosion there at the end just to make sure that the clone could seemingly sacrifice himself that the you know yeah the that the they 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 needed to to separate them so that the clone could also reveal you know that he's still alive by you know putting the the you know, the, I forget what those are called, but yeah, you know, the, the childhood toy kind of thing, and, you know, and, and then the, the, the kid's like, oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, have, have fun with that, it's been, you know, it was literally close to where the, the, you know, Garot as a kid, you know, nearly burned to death, and yeah, and, you know, it does also, you know, you can understand why he got the, you know, not obviously what he's doing is, is completely wrong. And plenty of people experience tragedy and don't become, you know, don't, don't go and do something evil themselves. But you can understand how he got his issues given the, the thing, and, you know, the only reason Garot survived was because it rained that night, and so the the clone also likes rain. I I think the movie could have done more to make clear just how much he the the clone understood. You know the the briefly. I love that you know when when the person training him, who at first I thought that was like a, a tape they had made, but evidently, you know, she could see him and respond to, yeah, but, you know, she says, I'm walking, and then they don't show her legs or her feet. What good is that gonna do? To him, she might as well have, you know, bent her legs at the knees and be floating. There's, there's, he can't see. Yeah, but you know, at, at times, like, how much does he understand, you know, does he know what the words he's saying mean, and, and things like that, there, there are times where it's not quite clear, and then suddenly he does know something, but, yeah, the, 
you know, as far as the, the psychic link, it's, you know, it, it's quite good where, you know, at first you don't really know why he's, like, struggling to get out of the car. But then, you know, the, the tension rises in the scene and suddenly you realize he rigged the place to blow. Somehow, I'm, I'm not entirely... <sighs> Yeah, yeah, he's he's just he's, you know, we we learn that he's a pyromaniac and he's done a bunch of things, but you know he he rigged the the place to blow, and he's been living at the the place that the police knows that he lives. Yeah, some at times he just really throws caution to the wind, but yeah, you know, so the clone runs up and helps save the you know. Yeah, that that's a quite good. Yeah, and and the thing with how you know I already mentioned the whole family theme that you know will Jake kill the clone? Does does the clone believe that Jake might kill the clone because Jake has really abused the clone? But at the same time, you know, you know they even say first human contact is is Jake. And he's such a jerk with the let the let the man eat his food, you know, it's yeah, but the and and you know you know, and he you know, he uses those fancy looking are are they supposed to be like futuristic cuffs? Like there there are just a few things that are like futuristic in the film, but anyway, you know, and he cuffs him to the table. And then the clone rips out this. If I were Jake, I might have made sure to ask, how secured is that table? You know, he didn't have to tell him exactly, excuse me, exactly why. But yeah, as it is, excuse me, the clone just rips out the, the thing and yeah. And as for the martial arts, I... I don't know if it's intentionally funny, but it ends up kind of funny when the clone is doing things and it doesn't really go anywhere. Like he just keeps swinging on that one bar in the the abandoned place, you know. And yeah, there there are times and and he does this one move to to like get away, and then suddenly he just <laughs> falls on his ass afterwards. It's and again, I, I get it. It's like, you know, it's almost a kind of, you know, like, you know, muscle memory kind of thing. It's a reflex. He's he's not going into that with a plan. It's just, oh, in this situation, I should do this. And then after, but it does end up kind of funny. I'm also not, did, were we told when and where Garot learned martial arts? Because... He clearly knows, you know, I mean, this is not just, like, what the, the you know, the guy who's there to collect, you know, who comes in when the clone is with the prostitute, he's just using, like, brute force, and he's not, you, you know, but Garot clearly, like, he knows some kicks and various moves, so, yeah. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.